And here's the lesion uh, being visualized as we come back into the distal rectum. Here uh, the lesion uh, appears to have the brainy sulci pattern uh, typical of uh, tubular phyllis adenoma. And here uh, we are about to uh, deploy the NBI function. So again, uh, the surface pattern can be uh, closely examined. With a close examination of the lesion, uh, we can then decide that this lesion uh, would be amenable to endoscopic therapy uh, using EMR. The application of image-enhanced endoscopy may augment the diagnosis and therapy of gastrointestinal diseases. Pesh and colleagues recently reported that most Barrett's esophagus with high-grade dysplasia is a completely flat morphology, reflecting the difficulty in its detection. Careful inspection of the esophageal lumen should be standard practice during upper endoscopic evaluation due to the subtle appearance of esophageal lesions. Image-enhanced endoscopy has been applied towards identification of esophageal neoplasia in both squamous and Barrett's epithelium. Squamous cell high-grade dysplasia and early carcinoma can be non-polypoid, being slightly elevated, flat, or depressed, and only recognized by its slight erythema. Careful inspection of the esophageal mucosa was performed in this high-risk patient with a history of heavy tobacco and alcohol use. There was an area of subtle erythema raising suspicion for a malignant lesion. The use of Lugols has been shown to improve the endoscopic detection of high-grade dysplasia and squamous cell cancer of the esophagus in patients at increased risk. As illustrated in this case, the application of Lugol's solution aided in the endoscopic diagnosis of dysplasia. The sharply demarcated unstained epithelium delineates the dysplastic lesion from normal squamous epithelium. This is a crucial component in order to define the lesion borders and assess for the completeness of resection. Image-enhanced endoscopy enhances the visualization of the abnormal capillary vessels in high-grade dysplasia and cancers. The abnormal size, orientation, and number of surface capillaries with distinct borders are characteristics of squamous cell neoplasia.